Time now for our weekly feature on the map. Yeah, today Sam Fraser's on a breezy hilltop in Buckinghamshire. And uh, it's a great view from there, Sam. So tell us where you are. I'm here in the village of Brill with spectacular views all around. The village itself is over there and to my left is a magnificent 17th century windmill. Any self-respecting mouse would be thrilled to take up residence here. It's something of a local landmark and it's featured many times in the BBC South Today weather pictures. Sadly, the weather has damaged the sails but the Brill Society hopes to be able to repair them with the help of the local community who call themselves the Brillites. This is Brill Windmill, built in about 1650. It's actually a listed building because of all the internal machinery, which is original. It doesn't actually work anymore. Uh, we can merely see how we would have ground flour in the past. We open it throughout the summer, Sunday afternoons, for visitors. Uh, we have volunteers who show them around. It's an absolutely iconic symbol of the village. Last Halloween, there was an enormous wind came through this area and broke the sail that you can see in half and also damaged the other one. Um, so currently we're raising money to get them repaired. We hope to do that later this year. From here, we can reputedly see seven counties of southern England. Northamptonshire and then Buckinghamshire over there. People feel as though it is the heart of the community. A lot of them say when they come back into the village, they see the windmill, it makes them feel as though they've come home. The real Brillites think that it takes many generations to become a local. However, the rest of us really enjoy living here anyway. <laughs> I've been round here for 15 years now, and I've been in Brill for eight years at the Pheasant, and I have to say it's a lovely piece of untouched England, even for a job like myself, and they like a good pint. It's very rarely any conflict. It's more about people pulling together and doing things. For example, the windmill players put on a few productions every year. The whole village always turns out to watch it. Oh, for me, it's just living up on top of the hill, having all the views, having the wind. They've made me feel really welcome, um, and they support the shop well. There's usually quite a lot of activities going on, so you've got the social club as well, which you can go to. Usually that's quite active on a Friday night. You lend a hand one day, and then the next day you'll be needing a hand, but we know there's always a hand available. Here we've got the community herd grazing. Herd of Dexter's managed to keep the, the grass, keep it all down. The brilliant thing about Brill is that there's always someone to talk to. So I was out at six o'clock this morning, walking the dogs. A great mix of, you know, old characters and, uh, and you know, enthusiastic uh, new people. We all care for each other. We really do. And the weather and we've got the windmill and that's us. It's just a brilliant place to come and visit. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm here with another Brillite, Victoria Timms, who invited us here this evening. Victoria, thank you so much for the invitation. It's lovely to be here. And to me. see this windmill that you've photographed so often for us on South Today, we've seen it in all weathers and all seasons. What's it like to photograph? Oh, it's amazing. It's a really good feature um, for photographs. I've been lucky enough to um, capture a rainbow recently, um, and it's also good during storms uh, and snow and it's just a great place to photograph. Uh, well, I know that photography is something that you do as part of your daily life. Uh, do you use a fancy camera? No, no, I just use my phone, um, and then it's just always on me, and it's really quick and easy then to email them into BBC South or Weather Watchers on the website. 
Well, we're very grateful to have you as a BBC South weather watcher. And many of our weather watchers say that it brings them a little bit of celebrity in their locales. Uh, has that happened to you when people have seen the photos on the telly? Yes, I think people recognise my name now. If my uh, photo has been on the weather the night before, um, people often stop me and say that they, they've seen it. So it's always, it's always a pleasure. <laughs> Well, I think a free drink in the pub. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful here in Brill this evening. I wonder how it's looked across the rest of the region. Time to take a look at your photos. Dan Mapes took this picture of Barton-on-Sea at breakfast time. A little bit later in the morning, this is what Colwell Bay on the Isle of Wight looked like. Thanks very much to Martin Perry for that. And finally, Arundel Castle Gardens, here pictured by Caroline Palmer. Well, we've had a lovely day here in Brill. Blue skies, sunshine and light breezes. For the rest of the week, the story continues in much the same vein. More sunshine to come, but we will see those temperatures begin to rise. Let's take a look at tonight. And the high pressure is with us over the UK. It's sending in a northeasterly breeze at the moment. So for tonight, a fresher feel. It's going to be much less humid than it's been in the last couple of nights. So more comfortable for sleeping, clear skies, dry with overnight lows dropping to 9 to 12 celsius much much more comfortable on to tomorrow morning then and clear skies means sunshine from the get-go that's sunshine with us throughout the day a little bit more in the way of cloud through the afternoon but it's going to feel very warm once again temperatures nudging up a little on where they've been today so we're looking at highs around 26 celsius inland a little bit uh, cooler than that the closer you are to the coast on to tomorrow evening and it's a very similar story to tonight. We'll see some late sunshine, the skies clear as we go overnight and again it's a fresher feel so 10 to 12 Celsius the overnight low once again. We move into Saturday and then we're looking at a very different story because the high pressure starts to slip away. Whilst we've got that sunshine, we're going to see the wind direction change. It'll be coming up from the south, bringing very warm air, 28 Celsius, the top temperature for northern and eastern parts of the patch. And then as we head towards the end of the weekend, we'll look what those temperatures are doing, climbing further still into the, the high 20s, the uh, low 30s, for Sunday and by Monday northern and eastern parts of the patch could be seeing really very high temperatures indeed 37 Celsius a possibility and there is an amber health alert for the extreme heat that we're likely to see do take care if you're out and about Sam Fraser there an honorary brillite for the day and thanks to everyone in the village for their warm welcome tomorrow on South today we'll preview the Farnborough air show uh, but from us it's good night we're back with the late news and we'll leave you with a fantastic view from Brill in Buckinghamshire good night